welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady. Um, just a side note to let you guys all know, I have changed my name to my channel. It's now called Pink Lady Productions because to me, how I felt, and I just want to let you guys all know, I felt I didn't want to be labeled just as a gamer because I like to do other things. So, so now it's called Pink Lady Productions instead of Gamer. So, just so if everybody did not understand why I changed my name, it's because I just felt like I like to do more. And I do more than just gaming because, I, like I said, I do these, do all kinds of stuff. Like, I go from unboxing to doing some Disney things and other stuff. And there's some other stuff in the future that I would love to do. So, yeah. Uh, but, so... That's the reason why there's a big name change and the channel's going to be kind of focusing on pretty much a little bit of everything. Yeah, though I might play some games here and there, but it's not going to be all full, full focus on gaming. So, just to let everybody know, and that's the reason. But, today you guys are getting an ex extra special video this week, because, um, come to find out... The one box I thought wasn't going to come ended up signing to come. So we're having a box opening because it surprised me. And I wasn't expecting this box for maybe another month or two. But so this is going to be the like pre, you know, New Year's Eve, New Year's box. So before the end of the year. So and... And it looks like it's winter because you can see as like right down here there's snow and everything like that. So we're going to do some unboxing for Nick this time around. So let's get into opening the Nick box. And to tell you the truth guys, this time around I know how to open the box. We're not going to spend like last time an hour and a half trying to figure out what, how to open a box. Which it was like pretty dang easy and everything like that. So... Anyways, guys, it's still the same in the opening, and we got our little Nick Box card. It tells you what's inside, and it and it looks so freaking cool. And then the way it looks to me, and like I said, I don't want to show you guys and stuff like that, but it's going to be winter themed. So let's see what we got. And the first thing I see is a Rocco's Modern Life T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it is a t-shirt. Making sure it's a t-shirt. Yes, it is a t-shirt. Look at that, guys. Rocco's Modern Life. Not a big fan, but you know what? Still cool. You can still support. I can still at least support my 90s, you know, genre of stuff. But, yeah, it's a cute little Rocco Modern Life shirt. But you don't get to see this too much too often. So, so yeah, I can support that. And I do love clothes. To represent my 90s themed, you know, era. So, and the next thing is, oh my god, I still remember this show. Double Dare. I mean, I got a snow cap that has Double Dare. I love watching that show. That was like the coolest show. You got slime. You get to do all kinds of weird stuff. It was a competition with families and stuff like that. But who cannot resist having a Double Dare stocking cap. I mean, that is so freaking awesome. And it has a little thing. I mean, come and it has the slime looking thing and everything. I love this show too. Back as a kid, forgot all about it until now. Thanks for the reminding Nick Box because I do love Double Dare. <laughs> but if anything you guys need to check out things maybe on YouTube there might be some videos out there, but do check out Double Dare because that was a very very awesome. And if, if I ever get another thing um, of other shows, um, sorry, I had to look over there for some reason. Something happened. Um, but other shows that I like that were like competitive, if I hope I could get stuff, is I liked to watch um, what was Double Dare and Legends of the Hidden Temple. I love that show. That was a really cool show. And um, figure it out. I, th figure, I think figure it out was more 2000s, so I don't think it was 90s, but at least the two, the Double Dare, and, oh, wait, no, what was that one? Mm, that's gonna, Guts. Guts was another one I loved. I liked that one. I think it was 90s. It seemed like it was 90s, but that was a cool thing. It got kids actually moving, the Guts one. So, 
that's another one to show to check out. So, and the next thing I see is this pig. Oh, the pig from Hey Arnold. <laughs> I remember the little pig. It was like a random pig, but I forgot what he was called. Did they actually? Abner. Yes, I remember Abner. He's a cute little pig. I loved him. He was such a cute pig. So now I have another little plushie. I like to give a little bit more of my plushies. And so, like I said, my house is going to be a mixture between Nickelodeon and Disney. So, but, you know, but yes, Abner from Little Hey Arnold. Love the little guy. He's so cute. Love him. But I like the Hey Arnold show anyways. And like I told you last year, last year's Christmas, not this year's, but last year's, my brother did get me the whole complete season of Hey Arnold DVD. And I did show you guys that we are slowly working on our Rugrats collection, so keep an eye out for that. And the next thing I see, oh, that's so cute. It's a little pin. I don't know if I can get you guys up to see it, but it's from Keenan and Kel, but it, it has the, the pin right here, which Kale loved orange soda, so it says, who loves orange soda? So it's a who loves orange soda pin. Now, that was a really big thing in the 90s with Keenan and Kel. That was like the biggest saying ever. So I thought, that is so freaking cool. <laughs> but, so I'll be like, I probably might just get myself a backpack and put all my pins on from like Disney and Nickelodeon. And it'll be just a nice little mixture, you know? So whatever pins I get. So I have like, well, so far, I only have like two pins and they're from Nickelodeon, which is the Midnight Society, which was from Are You Afraid of the Dark, which I love. And now I got orange soda. So, Disney, let's get Walt Locks. Come on. Let's get some pins, cause some little pins. Nah, don't do that because there's actually, like I said in one of my earlier videos, that there is actually a pin, you know, what, you know what I'm saying, like little pin thing. So, yeah. I'm not going to do anything more on that one. All right, next thing is, oh, I got a mug from Ren and Stimpy. Let's see if I can open this up without ruining too much out of anything. I had to get scissors, and I don't have scissors in here. Boo! Hopefully I can get it. I don't want to go out and get it. Now, the thing is, the box I opened for Disney was a lot easier than this. Oh, there we go. Got it! Use my strings, but I don't want to use the wrong same because this is not Disney and this is actually Nickelodeon. Because I was going to say I was using my Hercules strings, but yeah, totally different thing. Ooh, I like mugs because I do, I am a coffee drinker and stuff like that. <laughs> it's kind of a freaky cup, but but yeah, here's a red cup. Uh, that might be a fun one. That This one I may not drink out of because I think I'd be too freaked out to drink out of it. So it may just go into the collection. <laughs> the collection area. So yeah, I don't think because I don't... I, that's too much to drink. Try to see a face in the morning. That's just too much. So it might be just a collector's thing. <laughs> but anyways, I do like mugs, guys. I mean, if you guys find some pretty good, cool mugs for me or whatever, they're awesome. I love to use mugs, like, from Disney or, or even Nickelodeon from the 90s, like, TV shows and stuff. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, we're, I, I, I will take a mug. <laughs> Sounds like a, like, an old lady or an old whatever type person, but, yeah, I would take a mug. Um, the next thing I see, oh! Tommy Pickles, little vinyl. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying not to get the glare for you. But yes, this is my my dude. I love this show. This was my all-time favorite show. Tommy, awesome character. He was the best. And uh, this, this is going to be shown. I mean, this was my show. Thank you, guys. Kind of, to me, one more step up from the last box I got. But yes, Tommy Pickles. Yes. And he's the cool dude. If you guys don't remember that one episode with the cool dude when his mom took him to high school. And he was very he was very interested with the guy with the with the comb and the sunglasses. You can see like on here. If you can, I don't know if you can, but yeah, that episode was really, really cool. He was called the little dude. This is him as the little dude. But yes, love, 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 love. Let's see if I can get up closer for you, but yes. 
But yes, anything Rugrats, I'm going to be excited about. Um, the next thing I see, huh, is this a wallet? Is this a wallet? Uh, you're not going to tell me what it is, are you? I think this is a wallet, guys, but but it has the bus pass up from Hey Arhold. It has his little picture right here and stuff like that. And I like how it says name. It says name Arnold, and then it goes born, and it goes, yes, he was born. Forget about the date or the year. He was born. Just FYI, guys. At least he was alive. <laughs> but I think this is a wallet. I think. I don't know. It's not really telling me, but we can check it out and open it. Didn't really want to, but we'll check it out and see because I'm a, I'm assuming it is or what is this? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, I'm right. Okay, yeah, it is. It is actually. It's it's actually a wallet of some sort, but it's not. But it has like little little things in here with him and Gerald and everything. So yeah, it's actually a wallet. You could put stuff in. Might have to be keeping something in this, but. I'm, you know, guys, I'm not a guy, so, I mean, this is more for, like, a guy, you know, with their wallets and stuff, but maybe I'll give this to my brother. That'd be funny. <laughs> and he just got a wallet for Christmas, so that may, may not happen, but <laughs> it'd be funny. I'd be like, hey, here's a new wallet for you if you ever need one. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, hey, Arnold's awesome. Oh, my God, guys, I'm going to be fangirling again. <gasps> talking about guys this is the legends of the hidden temple and i love 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 that show all mac was my favorite character i kind of want to see what this bank is because it's so freaking cute i want to see what it's all about because i do this is what i was talking about guys this is the legends of the hidden temple <gasps> i think it lights up if you put something in it guys i think it does because the lights the eyes have them so i kind of want to see let me see do i have Dang it, guys. I want to show you guys the thing. If I had the coin somewhere, out of every day of the week, I find a coin. And now I don't. Is there a coin any? Because I think it does light up. And I would love to show you guys the lighting up of Olmec's eyes, I bet. And he probably makes sounds, too. But, yeah, it's a little, little, little bank. I do love Legend of the Hidden Temple. Like I told you guys. One of the coolest shows, but you guys need to check it out on YouTube. If I find links, I will show you, you know, maybe like a trailer of it or something that they have it or whatever. But this was my show back in the 90s. I was obsessed with it. I made sure I watched it every day that it was on. And I even still watch it today. So, um, but yeah, if, I, if, if it does light up, I'll make sure to show you guys at some point that it lights up. <laughs> but, but. Is that part of anything? I don't know if that's part of anything. But anyways, the next thing. Oh, that's so cute. Little gift wraps. They gave me gift wrapped and they gave me tape too with it. It has like cat dog tape. And you have birthday on this side. If I can sketch you guys without the glare. There's the birthday side. And there's like kind of like a Christmas snowy time. And they do give you a little tape right here of cat and dog you can use. But... That would be kind of cool for my next like gift wrapped of anybody's. You might get the nice little Nickelodeon wrap. Who knows? Anybody could get it. But yeah, I can use that. Excuse me, guys. Don't know why I'm doing this. And that is, to that is it for this month's box opening for Nickelodeon. I don't know. Maybe I misread the, the thing when they were supposed to deliver. But I thought it was annual stuff. But... Maybe they just did a good surprise one because it's Christmas, so they thought, well, let's have a kind of a Christmas box. So, yeah, this surprised me when I came home Monday. Yeah, mon this Monday, because I saw it, my dad, my brother put it on my bed, and I was shocked. I was like, I wasn't supposed to get this box, but anyways, guys, I'm still surprised on it. I loved it. It has some pretty cool stuff. I like the little Olmec coin bank because I love... The, just the head tip. I do like the stocking cap from Double Dare, and I like the little pin from Keenan and Kel. Of course, I gotta love the vinyl from Rugrats because I love Tommy Pickles. I like anything Rugrats. That's like my thing. So yeah, and there might be some stuff I might be giving away here in the near future. Like if I decide to give away something, I have stuff for you guys to be giving away because I'm gaining some stuff that either I'm not going to use or I just don't. 
care because it wasn't my show when I was a kid. And there might be, and it might be for somebody else that's out there, you know, that has that, like, loves that show. So, we'll just see how everything goes, guys. So, anyways, guys, hope you like and share this vid. Oh, Can't even talk. So, anyways, guys, please like and share this video, and please subscribe. And if you guys want to know when I post videos, I try to post once a week, maybe twice, depending on what the surprise is. But please hit that bell down below. And... Just remember, you guys are all a book, and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!